Welcome to another edition of Cars and Us. My name is Dennis Tate. Today we're at Somers, New York. Somers in Westchester County, New York. And uh, we're at the uh, third annual Italian American Club Auto Show over in Reese Park in Somers. Uh, beautiful day for a car show. It's picture perfect. It's not too hot. Nice little slight breeze. Uh, beautiful grounds. Um, it's a uh, nice, uh, well-kept, manicured uh, lawn. And uh, fortunately, it hasn't rained, so it's just, uh, it's just a beautiful setting for a car show today. So we're going to speak to a couple of the uh, sponsors and owners of, uh, 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 not owners, but uh, sponsors uh, and members of the club, the Italian American Club, um, who put on this show. So we should have a good show in store for us. So stay with us for the next 30 minutes. We'll see some really nice, fine cars. With me, I have... To my left is Nick Horatius, uh, a friend of mine who's been on my show before with his beautiful 55 Merc, uh, who has uh, been instrumental in promoting this show. Uh, one of the um, main sponsors is uh, Jimmy Boniello, who uh, belongs to the Italian American Club, uh, and they're the hosts of the show. So I want to thank you guys for coming on Very good. for thank a you, couple Dennis. minutes. Nick, thank so you, always, always pleasure, the same you know. here. You know that. All right. So um, what do we got in store for today, uh, Jimmy? Well, you, uh, as you see, the parade is right behind us, and it's a pretty exciting day for the town of Somers. They were trying to uh, promote today as their uh, Fourth of July celebration, and they asked us to do a car show, and we have about 100 cars here, I think, or so. And we're early um, on the day. Yeah, and it's, it's early, uh, and it's a great day, and some nice cars here. So we're, and we're, the Italian American Club is offering free Zeppelas and free funnel cakes and coffee and donuts and bagels, and it looks like it's going to be a good day. That's terrific. Uh, Nick. Yes, sir. I saw your car down there, so uh, you're in good shape for today. Oh, but yeah. But you're, you're going to be working today. I'm sorry? You're going to be working today. Working? No, 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 no. I'm enjoying myself today. Oh, I, you? Don't you? We did enough preparatory work. Well, I, I know uh, in promoting the show, you had to get the flyers down, you had to do all the legwork. And you but, helped uh, a lot, too. Well, I appreciate that, but that's that's what we're here for. But um, now, uh, do you get involved judging the cars or anything? No, we're doing peer judging, okay. which you know, we seem to like. It seems to work well. You never please everybody. We right. know that, right. but it's peer judging. Right. Um, I didn't see uh, the awards. Where are the awards? i got to get a picture of them the later. Table is right to your right. You'll see them, yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. And you have um, uh, you had a goodie bag here with some giveaways and stuff in yes, it? Yes, CarQuest was, uh, donated the uh, bucket, so we got the five-gallon pails. Everybody received one of those. And the goodie bags, yes. Well, I tell you what, you couldn't have, like I said earlier on, you couldn't have prayed for a better day. And I'm glad it turned out the way it, way it was, and, and I know it's going to be very successful. So it's a pleasure for me to come and try to promote and help you guys out. Great. Thank you very so much. So thank you very much, Jimmy. Nick, thank you, we'll Dennis, see you like later. I say, as always. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Many of you who have seen my show, show for a number of years know that one of the uh, cars that, that's near and dear to my heart comes out of the, the late 40s and the early 50s. It's, uh, and I call, them, I call all of them my uh, James Dean Mercs. But we have one here. Uh, that's a 49, and I have uh, Joe Puzio. Uh, his friends call him Peppy. 
but he is the owner of this car. And this car is very unique. I'm going to let him tell you about it because it does have something to do with James Dean. So I'm going to welcome Joey. Welcome to Cars and Us. Pleasure. All right. It's nice uh, to meet you. Uh, beautiful, beautiful car you have here. Uh, you have a nice little display. Maybe we'll uh, get a chance to videotape that. But you can tell the folks uh, watching uh, the history about this car and uh, what makes it so unique. Well, the car was built in 2005 in Missouri. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2006, it was driven to the James Dean run right. in Indiana. Uh, it was picked as uh, top 20 mercs in the country. Uh, it's all hand-built, two-and-a-half-inch chop, uh, air condition, six-way power seats, tilt wheels. The ceiling at night all is uh, indirect lighting. The whole ceiling lights up. That's a shame we're not going to be able to see that today. Yes, it's yeah, it's up. kind of attractive. Yeah. And the rear seat is the Radius Thunderbird, 62 mm -hmm. Thunderbird seat. So uh, it was put together pretty nice. Uh, it's got a 351 Windsor Ford. Right. That's been a little bit worked on. That's terrific. Um, How about the transmission? Tranny is a C6, C6? Uh, okay. Cougar. Sure. Uh, the exhaust is two and a half inch. It's stainless exhaust. Yeah. And, now, uh, uh, let's, let's talk about some of the modifications on here. Uh, you've got a... Uh, Looks like a 54, 55 uh, DeSoto grill. That's correct. It's a uh, 55 DeSoto grill and bumper right. uh, reversed. Right. Uh, naturally, the radius was changed to suit the car. Right. And um, she handles very well. The uh, paint job, what is the color? Is it a PPG color, house of colors? Or it's, a, it's a custom color. It's called vanilla malt. Mm -hmm and salmon so it's more or less an upgraded color mm -hmm. has it got a little pearl in it has a little pearl also right. yes right. you know beautiful right. color beautiful choice yeah um how did you find the car uh actually we found it through good guys oh did you yes and uh we went down and we picked up actually two mercs that day a friend of mine uh, picked up a 53 convertible rare car yeah, and sure. i picked this one up and uh we brought them on back to new york uh, what have you done? Uh, most guys, uh, when they buy them turnkey, they put their own little finishing touches. Well, to be or honest... Was, or was there very little you could do? Very little to be done with this. It was pretty much all hand-built right. by Shockley in Missouri. Right, right. Now, top 20, uh, what did, uh, did you get an award uh, for, for that? Well, Gene Winfield, who I guess you know, right. one of the famous hot rod builders right. in the sure. country, sure. Uh, he gave us the plaque... Oh, for the car very good. at the judging. Right, right. So that that's that's some that's some uh, uh, award because I mean top twenty they must have uh, two thousand cars out there. Right, that's true. So uh, that's that's uh, you know that's uh, very prestigious. Yes, thanks. And um, uh, the, uh, the 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 hood now the hood is up. So is there anything I didn't notice if it's louvered or anything? Well, the hood uh, is a leather underneath. Is that what it is? Insulated, okay. yes. I didn't take. Uh, I didn't get a chance to take a good close look at it yet, but we'll we'll videotape and, and see it uh, how nice. Yes, it is. Sure. yeah. The heat, believe it or not, the heat doesn't bother it. We were worried about it stretching I, out. I, I was going to ask you that. Right? Tight. That's that's terrific. Yeah. Well, it's all heat heat treated uh, leather anyway. I mean, right. Uh, so they had to take that into account. Yes. Um, how many? Uh, how how? How long have you had the car, and how much have you had it out? Well, I use the car regularly. I, you know, I drive my cars. I'll take them to the shopping centers. Yeah. I, I yeah. use them and enjoy them. Yeah. Uh, I got it in December. Oh, okay. And so, uh, yeah, this is your first season out. That's correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, it seems like you know what? Um, I don't know if this is your first show. Actually, I know you go to a lot of cruises, but uh, you know, you got a lot of shows coming up. And I'm sure that you're going to really enjoy it because this is this, is, and people are going to get a chance to enjoy it. You have to be a little bit older, like we are, you know, to really appreciate That's you know these, these cars. But uh, you know what? It's so nice, it's so pristine that even people that really don't realize what they're looking at know that they're nice, you know, and can appreciate it. It's yes. just that type yeah. of an eye-catching car. It really is. Uh, the rear uh, window is uh, split three, it's three-piece glass. Yes. And that's rather unique, too, because obviously it didn't come that way then. Yes. So um, it's it's a great car. It's a great day for a show. And I'm glad we got you as, as, our, as our first interview. So uh, we'll give you a good shot 
uh, at the beginning, and um, you know we plan to do a real good show here after. We had a bunch of nice cars. I don't know which to choose from next. Yes, the, thank you very much. Appreciate it, Joey. Pleasure. pleasure. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you I very much. Good luck with the car, and uh, we'll see you at some other shows. Very good. Take care. Thank you. Back during the winter, uh, I had an opportunity to uh, see Tony DeLuca and his 1944 sedan um, up at John Riccati's uh, Old Time Cars up in Mayapak. Uh, at that point in time, we were uh, taping uh, Walter Hasselman's 33 Willys that's, that was being built up there. But uh, Tony had his car up there, and uh, I did some videotaping, but it was only on a rack. So uh, and today, we're fortunate enough to get him out in the open. And Tony, nice to see you again outside you. here Same and see here. the car out here. Yep. You know, it's just, uh, as I said before, this looks really great uh, out, outdoors in the sunlight as yep. opposed to indoors with the fluorescent lighting. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got we did a lot of work on the car. Uh, John did a lot of work. He did the whole front end. It's all chrome, my thing too. Uh, it's got a 350 in it, all chrome. We did the air. Uh, we boost up the tranny a little bit. Uh, the car has uh, been done from bottom up, and it's a it's a great car. The paint job is great. Yeah, it's uh it's a really I I, I like blue anyway. Yeah. So uh, what 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 color is it? It's uh it's a uh, Regular uh, tinted uh, blue, you know. Uh, I mean, is it, a, is, it, is it a manufacturer's color or is, it a, or is it a custom? It's a custom. It is? It's a custom color, yeah. Okay. Blue. Um, did John paint the car? Uh, no, he didn't. He did some, yes, he did. Uh, in certain areas, he did paint some of the car, yes. Now, Tony, when it was up on a rack, uh, what were you doing then? The transmission or the, the exhaust? Uh, no, we were doing the front end uh, and the tranny. And uh, and uh, all new brake lines and all that kind of stuff we did on it. All new, so, you know, put the valves in and all that. Mm -hmm. So and the brakes. So that's been done. How's the car? How's the car handling now? The car handles beautiful. And since he did all that work, the car is running really great. Uh, it's a nice riding car. You have no problem with this car. It's really good. Uh, is this uh, uh, probably not? But I'll ask the question anyway. Is this your first time out? Uh, no. Uh, I've been out a lot. I've been out the last few years. I, and uh, with the, No, I meant for this season. For this season? Oh, no, I've been out quite a few times. Have you? Yeah. All right, but uh, we haven't seen you down at our cruise. We're running a cruise on Tuesday nights in Somers at the Granite Springs Inn restaurant. So uh, obviously you didn't know about it, so that's why we didn't see you. But we'll be looking forward to seeing you there. Uh, you Every will. Tuesday night. You know, we do a nice barbecue outdoors yes, and the restaurant is open. Uh, I was there once. Were you? Yes. With the car? Yeah, the first time. Wow, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I missed you, but it was kind of a funny night. It was. Um, yeah, that's the first uh, time they it had iffy, it. Iffy weather. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was there. Maybe you were there. Wait a minute. They had a show there before. Maybe that's when you were there. That's I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. okay. So. Yeah. No, I that will be there. Good. You know, I'd love to have you come Tuesday. down. We're there every Tuesday night, yeah. and um, uh, you know, it would be a pleasure to, 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 you know, to have your car there to add to all the other nice cars that we've been getting, you know, right along. Oh, we'll be there. Tony, pleasure. Same here. All right, yeah. and we'll see you soon. We'll see you on a Tuesday night. Thank Thanks you. again. One of the cars that was at our cruise uh, a couple of Tuesdays ago was this really gorgeous 34 Ford Silver Roadster. Uh, and I have, uh, I didn't get a chance to, uh, to talk to him at that time because I didn't have the camera with me, but uh, he's at the show today, Fred Merman. He's over here at the Somer Show at Reese Park, uh, sponsored by the Italian American Club. So we got a nice opportunity to uh, videotape the car and to speak to Fred and welcome you to Cars and Us. Thank you, Dennis. All right. Uh, nice to see you again. Uh, pleasure. We uh, appreciate you supporting our cruise and coming over. You certainly add to it. This car is just gorgeous. It's one of the best cruises around. Well, thanks. You know, I appreciate that. Uh, we're, we're early on, so, uh, you know, we intend to, to make it a lot better. Great. So we'll look forward to seeing you there. But uh, meantime, we got you out here in a beautiful sunny and the sunlight especially. This car really stands out. Yes, Beautiful sir. car. Well, thank you very much. How long have you had it? Where'd you get it? I got it in August, uh, September of last year mm -hmm. down in Maryland. Uh, were you looking for it, or did you just happen on it? Uh, I was looking, uh, basically looking for a 34, and I uh, saw it on eBay. And uh, from there, uh, I went down to take another closer look at it. Um, why uh, in particular 34, and why in particular Roadster? Roadster, uh, real hot rods don't have fenders. <laughs> That's true. Um, now, of course, there's no top for you. So uh, are you concerned about the rain, or are you particular as to when you take it out? I'm particular when I take it out, and I'm concerned about the rain. Eventually, I will get a top for it. You will? Yes, I will. Okay. 
but meantime, uh, you know, you just, uh, w when the weather permits, it's out. It's out, and it's a lot of fun to drive this way. Yeah, it is. It seems like an e-car. Um, it's, it's just, it has nice, clean, plain lines to it outside. And inside, the dashboard is really not fancy, but it's really uh, very pretty and, uh, and practical. Yes, thank you. It's all straightforward. It's just uh, nice, like you mentioned, all nice, clean lines. And uh, the dash is just simple enough with all the gauges. And... Uh, Fred, when you saw this car, after you saw it, uh, did you think that you wanted to make any changes on it? Not at the time. No, huh? uh, not Do right now. Do you plan to, to make any? Yes, perhaps later. Now, uh, drivetrain, uh, it's what, a 350 Chevy? 350, 350? Yes, it is. 350, 350, mm -hmm. and 9-inch Ford rear. Okay. What kind of gears, you know? Uh, offhand, uh, I don't recall. But it's cruising. It, it's just cruising. It's a little thirsty, though. I was just going to ask you this. <laughs> <laughs> it's very so, so basically, you're passing everything but a gas station. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's about like it. the old days. That's like the old days. Only thing is now it's so expensive. Yes, so. it is, but you don't mind because it's a sport. Well, you know, that's part of the, of the hobby. That's the price you pay for success. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're local. You're in Somers? Yes, I am. Um, uh, the wheels. That's what I was going to ask you about. What, uh, what wheels are on you? The American wheels. The American? Yes. The torque thrust? Torque thrust, yeah. Right. The 20s in the backs and uh, 15s in the front. Right. They're my, uh, they're my favorite American. I like the American mags, preferably, but on this car, I don't think they'd look good. I think what you chose is, is more apropos. Yes, it, uh, it's a nice smooth line. Again, it goes with the car. Yeah. Yeah. It, they don't jump out at you. It's just all smooth right. and neat. Right. But I'll tell you what, you can see you coming a mile away. I mean, just the color, it, it shines. I mean, is, is this custom color? No, it isn't. It's two-stage Mercedes silver. Oh, it is? Yes. Okay, well, there's class Mercedes, so, you know, at least they put out a good color anyway. That's for sure, yes. <laughs> Fred, it's been a pleasure, and we look forward to uh, seeing you at the cruise on oh, Tuesday nights. Thank you, Dennis. Good luck with the car, and I know this is peer judging, so I hope they, uh, they uh, recognize your car, and you get. And I'm sure you'll get an award sometime. Great, it's been but great. But we'll, uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. All right, well, thank you. Thanks again. You're welcome. I had a gentleman come over to me before and asked me, uh, said, you look familiar? He said, uh, did you ever race over drag strip? <laughs> So we, uh, we kind of chuckled, and uh, uh, as I've said many times, numerous times on the show, it never fails that uh, whatever show I go to, I usually run into at least one person that has either raced at Dover or was a spectator at Dover. And uh, Jerry uh, uh, Musi goes way back to the early 60s. He ran a, a dragster, comes from the Bronx, and we mentioned, oh, numerous guys, Dennis from B&L and Jimmy Messenger, and, and of course he uh, knows John Galley very well. So uh, it's kind of uh, old home week uh, talking to Jerry. Yeah, yeah, it's nostalgia. So Jerry, welcome to Cars and Us. Thank you, Dennis. All Thank right. Um, nowadays you have, uh, we'll get back to that after, but nowadays you're driving the 68 Shelby uh, GT? Right, GT500 Shelby uh, 68. Started out in uh, Long Island, New York, and then uh, wound up in Texas and Reno area, and that's where I came out of. I've had it about uh, five or six years. I've been working on it ever since. Um, how did how did you come by it, and uh, what? Uh, how far back can you trace the history? Oh, oh, we can trace the history right back to the original, uh, original owner. And as I said, it started out in Levittown, New York, and then it was transferred to uh, Texas. And uh, uh, where did we find this? This came out of through eBay, and it was on uh, eBay. We bought it uh, several years ago. I had a friend of mine uh, investigate the car, and uh, that's when we went for it. Jerry, these things are. There's so many of them out there that. Uh, uh, I mean, is it? Have you were you able to actually authenticate it to make make sure it's a real yeah. car? Oh yeah, we have a Marty report on it. Everything's authenticated. We've taken the defenders, the tags off the fenders. We have the original all the serial numbers, and it's signed by Carol Shelby. Ah, this is, okay. This is the real that was thing. My this, next is the, this is the real. This is the real thing. It's, well, it's one of the real cars. That's so we, it was authenticated before I purchased it. And, uh, oh, that's we, good. We knew that. So yeah. you knew that. Yeah, we knew. Yeah. That's yeah. terrific. What did you have to do to it? Uh, it was, uh, we had to just bring it back to all original, the uh, carburetor was wrong, and this uh, distributor, the shifter, the interior had to be done over. Uh, just a lot of suspension work, and uh, there was just a lot of work, a lot of little detail work that had been uh, left over the, over the years. And uh, so it's just been coming back pretty good. It's coming back strong. You're doing pretty good work. Now, you're residing where these days? Uh, Katona, New York. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're local. Uh, yeah. Do you know we run a car cruise on Tuesday night? over at the Granite Springs Inn over in Somers. Yes, I saw it. As a matter of fact, I drove by it. I haven't been before the car there, but I know that it is there. Oh, just, good. Yes, I did All see right, it. All right, then we can look forward to yeah, seeing you over see there Yeah, you'll see I'll well. probably come over yeah. by Grand National or something like that. Okay. One of those cars, yeah. That's, yeah. that's true. Oh, you got, uh, how many yeah. more cars you got? No, just the Grand National. Oh, that's car, it? Yeah. So oh, okay. far, we're working on it. We're that's working right. on it. Yes. Um, is this a four-speed car? You get a chance to it's look at four -speed. it. It's a four-speed. Four-speed air-conditioned car, pretty rare. It's uh, With the color combination, It's uh, according to the Marty reports, it's one of 88 cars that were originally built in uh, 68. It's only Is that um, right? 
Yeah, so it's a fairly rare car, nothing... Uh, with the AC, like, certainly. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Who the hell ordered yeah, cool. a, a... Oh, no, there was, quite a, there was quite a few. There was quite a few back then. There were quite a few. Yeah? And yeah, there was quite a few. You can find them. And um, But it runs really well, and um, uh, Dennis has his hand in the motor a little bit. Oh, so, did he? Yeah, we did some top-end work on it. We changed a few things in it, so it works pretty good. Now, as I said before, early on, you ran a dragster back in uh, the early 60s. You're going way back now. Yes, yeah. I did. Yeah. <laughs> that was in the bachelor days, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody was. Yeah. Everybody was young, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, uh, maybe I'll, I'll try and look up some uh, for some film, and while we're talking here, yeah. the viewers will get a chance to see some more of uh, the old Dover film that I have. That'll know? be great. That'll be and, nice. Um, yeah. Look you know, forward to seeing that. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, uh, which I'm putting together now. I went up in May. Um, and I took video of, you know, the remnants. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm afraid to say, but unfortunately, I think they're going to start building houses. I would assume that's uh, the way they it's They were cutting go. trees down, mm -hmm. and there's a beautiful lake there now, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, they're cutting trees down, and there's two logging roads. Oh, boy. So I imagine they're going to start with uh, lakefront uh, houses, you know, and then work their way back. Mm -hmm. So uh, it won't be, uh, you know, it'll no longer be recognizable. Yeah, yeah. But, you know? you know, we have our own dreams to deal with, and uh, you can remember it that way. So that's, that's true. Good, you that's know. what we have. Yeah, and you have some old film and everything, and uh, that'll work out that's great. That's what we have, the memorabilia and, mm -hmm. and our memories. Mm -hmm. Jerry, it's been a pleasure. Okay. Thank you, Dennis. All right, enjoy Appreciate the show, and hope to see you on Tuesday nights. Thank you very All much. Right? You'll see me there. I'll be there. Good. Okay. Pleasure. Okay, take care now. Another nice car that just pulled in here a little while ago, 1969 Ford Mach 1. Um, I get these Mustangs uh, sometimes confused with all the different models and makes they made. But anyway, Skip has a great, uh, a real authentic car here. I think this is, uh, Skip, this is about 460 inches in here? Uh, it's 557 now. Uh, it? Yeah, she's uh, Excuse me. Handful. Sorry about that. <laughs> Skip, let me welcome you to the Cars and Us. Thank all you right. very much, and, Dennis. Uh, nice seeing you over here. You come to our cruise. You're a supporter of our cruise. We Absolutely. appreciate that. Absolutely. And um, now we got an opportunity to get you and, and, and your car uh, on camera. I appreciate as well. that. And uh, this car, you can hear it from, uh, which is a throwback. I mean, it's, uh, uh, you can hear it a, a half a mile down the street, you know? Yeah. It's really, it really sounds uh, healthy. What, what, what's in the motor, anyway? Well, first of all, these came through originally with, what, 428s? Yeah, this is a, four, a real 428 car. It's what they call an R code Mach 1. Okay. Um, and we modified it extensively, moving the motor back about eight inches, and we're making uh, 557 cubic inches now. A little over 820 horsepower, 700 plus foot-pounds of torque, and uh, it's a handful. It sounds it, for sure. Is it a four-speed car? It's a automatic. We got a, a C6 automatic in there, all, you know, purpose-built. The wheelie bars on the back help us keep the front end planted when we need it, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. This is a street car. Uh, do you also race it, or have you taken it to the track just to see? Not yet. We're going to do that after we get the suspension all worked out so we don't have to worry about hurting ourselves. And it's more about having fun than actually big numbers right now. Um, where did you find this car? Uh, Ohio. Went all the way out to Ohio to buy it. Um, we got it in November. Had it, uh, brought it to Gary's house right away and took it apart. We spent the last uh, seven months getting it ready. Uh, we had the motor down at, uh, or I should say, up at Pettit Racing, and he built uh, the motor. And 
he out on he outdid himself this time. Mm -hmm. He really did. Well, that's good. This is uh, like I said, it's it sounds so healthy. I mean, you know, it Thank really you. it really has a nice sound and uh, the exhaust. Uh, what have you got for exhaust? It's a four inch. Um, it's two and an eighth inch primaries into a four inch collector, wow. into a four inch um, Spintec oval exhaust. Okay. And we try to keep it quiet, idling around, and then when we got to bark like a big dog, we that's do what we have to do. do. Uh, gears. 411, 411 gears, and uh, it's a nine inch, full um, spool in it, so we're ready for just about anything. The wheelie bars, do you actually think you're gonna need them or and use them? I know I will, that, you, I know I will. Yeah, for sure, huh? Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of car. I, uh, I hope you have somebody there to take some video or some photos or something when, when this thing stands up. I'm hoping that uh, <laughs> when we do, we get it on your show so you get some uh, real oh, action pictures. Oh, <laughs> I, I'd love to, you know, I'd love to go to a, to a, to a race that you guys are going, you know, it's just uh, sometimes, um, the schedule doesn't, uh, you know, um, uh, afford me the opportunity, yeah, you know. Understood. But, um, you know, I, I certainly, because I haven't been to a track uh, since uh, two years ago. I went to uh, Lebanon Valley, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, they had a Mopar day. Right. So right. we went up there and covered that, but that was nice. Um, but you know what? I, I like to get a variety, you know. Right. Uh, like with the Nito Group, you know, where, uh, you know, you have the, the nostalgic cars and you got some newer cars and, you know, you have a little bit of everything. We'll call you out next time we go up. Yeah, terrific. You know, um, and we look forward to you coming over to the cruise. I really appreciate your, Again. You know, your support. Thank Thanks you very so much, much. Dennis. Enjoy the show. Thank you for and, all the time um, on TV. Uh, well, you know and what? Keeping it's my the memories pleasure. alive. Uh, that's what I try to do. I've been uh, trying to do it for the last 13 years, you know. And, and we all enjoy it's, it. Uh, hopefully that uh, there are a few people out there that do enjoy it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Wow.